Let's take a look at length. So for this set of questions, we need to convert from centimeters into meters. So hopefully we know that one meter equals 100 centimeters. So therefore, if you're converting from meters into centimeters, you're multiplying by 100. And if you're going from centimeters into meters, you are dividing by 100. So here we're going centimeters to meters, so we need to divide by 100. Now, if you're struggling to divide 25 by 100, write 25 with some zeros in front of it and put in a decimal point and a zero. Now, when you're dividing by 100, because 100 has got two zeros in it, we're moving the decimal point two positions and we're going to be make, moving it two positions to the left because we're going to be making this number smaller. So one, two, the decimal point will now sit here. So the answer is now 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.250 and hopefully you can understand that the zero on the end isn't doing anything and those first two zeros we don't need either. So it's just 0 0.25 meters. So if 25 centimeters is 0 0.25 meters, then this sets a nice pattern for the remaining questions. So 0 0.38, 0 0.62, 0 0.44. In other words, we need to create two decimal places. So 1.97, moving on, 6.14, 0 0.50, otherwise known simply as 0 0.5, 7.20, otherwise known as 7.2, 13.46, 70.00, otherwise simply 70. Here we're going meters into centimeters, and to go from meters into centimeters, we are multiplying by 100. So what we can do is we can uh, just write the number 3.22, again with some zeros on the end. We're moving the decimal point two positions because there are two zeros in 100. And because we're multiplying by 100, we're going to be making this number bigger. So therefore, the decimal point will move two positions to the right. So 1, 2. So the answer is now 322.000. And I'm sure you can appreciate that the point 0, 0 isn't really adding any value. So 322 centimeters. So if there are two decimal places, then we can just simply remove the decimal point. So this is simply 114 centimeters. 846 centimeters, 677, 1.9 meters, well that could be written as 1.90, so therefore 190 centimeters. 74 meters, sorry, 0 0.74 meters is 74 centimeters, 15 centimeters, 0 0.3, that's the same as 0 0.30, so that is 30 centimeters, 1,299 centimeters, and here we've got a whole number, we just need to multiply by 100 and all we need to do is just stick two zeros on the end, so nice and easy, 3,600. Meters into kilometers, well one kilometer is 1,000 meters. So to go from kilometers to meters we are multiplying by 1,000. So to go from meters into kilometers we're dividing by 1,000. So what is 1,126 divided by 1,000? might cause a bit of uh, confusion. So I'm going to write 1126.0 and dividing by 1000, 1000 has got three zeros. So therefore we're going to move the decimal place three positions. And because we're dividing by 1000, we'll move it to the left because we want to make the number smaller. So one, two, three. So the decimal point will move from here to here. So the answer is 1.1260, otherwise known as 1.126. So we can follow this pattern for most of these ones now. So this is going to be 3.257 kilometers, 2.164 kilometers, 9.333 kilometers. For this one, 933 meters. We might want to put some zeros in front just to make it easier to move the decimal point. One, two, three. So the answer is going to be zero or zero, zero point nine three three zero. Well, we don't need that zero on the end and we don't need the first two zeros. So there is our answer, 0 0.933 kilometers. Again, we want to create three decimal places. So this is going to be 16.425, 117.194, 210. Again, let's put some zeros in front and a decimal point and a zero so that we can move it one, two, three positions. So the answer is going to be 0 0.9. To one kilometers. 3,300, again, if you 
are struggling, put in a decimal point and a zero. Move the decimal point one to three positions to the left, so that is going to be 3.3. 3. 355, you might want to put some zeros in front and a decimal point and a zero. Move the decimal point one to three positions, so the answer is 0 0.355 kilometres. Here we're going from kilometres into metres, so kilometres to metres, we are multiplying by 1,000. So we've got this figure here, 3.114. Multiplying by 1,000 means the decimal point is going to move three positions, and it's going to move to the right because we want to make this number bigger. If you want, put some zeros on the right-hand side if you, if you think that's going to make it more obvious when you move in the decimal point. So one two, three. So that's going to be 3114.000, otherwise known as 3114 metres. So if there's three decimal places, then it's dead easy. Just pull out the decimal point. So this is going to be 2687 metres, 7228 metres, 6.29 can be written as 6.290. So that's going to be 6290 metres. 1.3 kilometres, 1.300, which is 1,300 metres. Uh, 0.997, again, uh, if we're multiplying this by 1,000, feel free just to put in some zeros on the end, move that decimal point, one, two, three positions. So that's just going to give us 997, because the point zero zero isn't going to add any value there. So therefore, 0 0.244 kilometres is just 244 metres. 0 0.3, well, that's the same as 0 0.300, which is 300 metres. 9 kilometres, just multiply that one by 1,000. So add three zeros to the 9, 9,000 metres. And again, this one follows the pattern of many of the others. There's three decimal places, so we can just pull out that decimal point and that is the conversion in meters. So here we've been given the heights of five children and we the ride has a minimum height requir requirement of 1.2. So the children need to be taller than 1.2. So Ellie can go, Alice can't, Path can, Saul can, just Ariana can't. So the answer is therefore Ellie path and Saul and for part B it's a maximum of 1.3 so we're looking for people that are shorter than 1.3 so Ellie just makes the grade Alice can get in because she's substantially under path cannot make it Saul can make it and so can um, Ariana as well so we need to, oh, we need to state whether each child can go in the play area. So yeah, they all can with the exception of path. So these are the yeses, path is the no. And from the previous question, if E, P and S can go, then um, Alice and Ariana can't. So these ones are the yeses, these two are the noes. Question number six, uh, Jack wants to buy a tape measure longer than 500, so A is 100, so that's not long enough. B is 250, not long enough. C is longer than 500, so that one's okay. 750 is longer than 500, so that one's okay. 400 is not okay because that's less than 500. Fairly easy question there. So question number seven, we can use a calculator, so that's, that's nice and easy. So just type in 3.24 plus symbol 9.66, hit equals, and you'll get the answer of 12.9. Uh, this one's even easier. You could probably do this one in your head. 22 plus 38, use a calculator if you want to though, is 60. 4.1 plus 8.8, .8. again, relatively straightforward even without a calculator, that's 12.9. And 3.3 .3 plus uh, 21. Uh, we need to be careful here because this is in meters and this is centimeters. So we've got a choice. We can either convert this into centimeters or this into meters, 3.3 meters is 330 centimeters, 330 plus 21 is 351 centimeters, or if you want to convert that into meters, divide it by 100, 3.51 meters. Jack wants to build a six meter fence in his garden. He's got some fencing, 2.5, 4.5, 
3 and 0 0.8. Uh, we can use a calculator for this. 2.5 plus 3 plus 0 0.8. That comes to a total of 6.3 meters. That is greater than the 6 meters um, that he wants to build. So yes, he definitely has got enough fence. Okay, so put these people in height order. Um, it doesn't state shortest to largest or largest to shortest, but I don't think it matters. I think both will be fine. So who is the shortest? It's someone who's five foot something. So it's 5'10", 5'9", 5'6", and 5'8". So 5'6", is the shortest. So Nish is the shortest. Then we've got 5'8", which is Sally, followed by Mark, who is 5'9". Ashling, who is 5'10", and finally Bob, who's six foot. So Nish down to Bob or Bob to Nish, either order is acceptable here. So uh, here we've got a map. How far is it from York to Harrogate? Well, York is 14 from Knaresborough and Knaresborough is seven miles from Harrogate. So York to Harrogate is simply 14 plus seven, which is 21 and that is miles. And to go from Knaresborough to Leeds, is it shorter to go via York or via Harrogate? So if you're going via York, it's going to be 14 plus 21, which is 35. And that's, I just note that that's via Y for York. Whereas via Harrogate is 33 plus seven, which is 40 via Harrogate. So it's clearly shorter if you go via York. And the final question, question number 11. So Benjamin wishes to buy exactly 1,450 centimeters of wood. So note this is in centimeters where some of these measurements are in meters. So we can convert this into meters if it helps. That is 14.5 meters. So he'll need to buy uh, one times 10 meters. Um, if he wants to buy exactly 1,450 centimeters, then he can't buy the five meters because then he'll be over. He'll have 15 meters and he wants 14.5. So he's gonna therefore have two lots of the two meters. So, so far we've got 10 meters and four meters. So that's 14 meters. So now we need the 0.5, the half a meter, which is the one times the 50 centimeter and we're done. But we need to work out the prices. So one times 10 meters, that's gonna be 12.99. Two times two meters, uh, that's, we can use a calculator for this question by the way. So two times 3.99, which is seven pounds 98. And then one pound 99 for the 50 centimeter length. If we add all this together, that comes to 22 pounds and 96. And let's not forget that he pays with a 50 pound note. So how much change does he get? That's simply be 50 pounds take away the 22 pounds 96 so therefore he receives 27 pounds and 4p change